I don't have a lot of time, Sun Squires, so we are doing something simple today. We are going through Demon Souls and all three Dark Souls games and ranking the bosses. I made this. What is the secret of that box? Is not, it doesn't exist. Ignore the box. If I don't see at least one DS2 in the top half, I'm going to be cross with you. Yeah, it's all going to be relative to the actual game that the bosses are from. So even though I didn't really like Dark Souls 2, I'm sure there are some bosses in Dark Souls 2 that I liked a lot more than the others. Tower Knight, S tier, easy. All five of these, S tier. The dragons, the blue dragon and red dragon are F tier. They are technically bosses, but they're not fun to fight. I don't know what this guy Guy is so i'm just gonna leave it unranked armor spider at least had an interesting idea yeah i won't deny armor spider had an interesting idea so did dragon god dragon god was a cool spectacle but it was hardly a boss fight yeah old hero was really fun to fight i think he goes in a tier i don't know what primeval demon was so i'll just put it in uh e <laughs> I think that's fair. Is that fair? That's all the bosses in Demon Souls ranked. Actually, I'll put her in A. I really like the gnarled like branches around the glowing core once you get all the slimes off. That's a really cool visual thing. And I like that a lot. Dark Souls one time. Bed of Chaos D. Good concept, but not very fun. Wolf. Oh yeah, Sif gets S tier. Very emotional boss. Let's get the S tiers out of the way. Let's go through. That's it. That's all the S tiers. Artarius S tier? No, Artarius A tier. Nito A tier. Capra Demon B tier? Where's Capra Demon? Oh yeah, Capra Demon's an okay boss. The dogs are the problem in his in that, that one's arena. I didn't like fighting Manus, so I'll put him in D to E tier. Now that's not fair to put him on the, like, the Demon Fire. I'll just move the Demon Fire Sage down. <laughs> Gwendolyn. I really don't like running down his hallway. So I'll put him in the, I want to like these bosses, but their mechanics are just not super fun category. Gwyn, emotionally, he gets another point, so I guess I'll put him in A tier. All right, so that's Dark Souls 1 ranked. Well, time to move on to Dark Souls 2. Uh, let's try to put something in S tier. I really enjoyed Pursuer. Where is he? There, let's put him in S tier. Uh, this is just a gank F. <laughs> this is an interesting concept. I'll stick it up in B. She exists. Her arena is filled with poison, so she gets a point docked for that. Magus and Congregation. They get C. They don't get D just because I think they're funny. They got a bunch of dudes crawling around on the floor. Dark Lurker only gets B because he's supposed to be a JoJo reference. Belfry Gar F. F. Belfry Gargoyles. Demon of Song had an interesting concept, but wasn't fun to fight. Dragon Rider. A only because you can make him fall off the arena. Tomb Knight. Everybody likes Hume Knight, but I didn't. Nothing should ever swing a sword that slow and still deal 75% of my health and damage. It doesn't make sense. Nashandra, she's got a better design because the game's like, oh, it's the queen and this lady shows up. And I guess it tries to hint at her corruption or whatever with like the one painting on the wall in that one room that starts cursing you when you get close but I don't know how that was supposed to actually telegraph anything. The concept was there, the execution. Ah. What if he sl swung slow and then when it hits you, he speeds up before he does? Every ER boss ever. Rune Sentinels, visually, I kind of like them. Mechanically, I didn't really. Uh, Velstat was was interesting. I kind of liked him. I liked the bell. I really may wish the bell sounds were louder because I feel like they could have leaned into that aesthetic. Why is Erlon F? Because he's a Sekiro boss. Everything he does is one shot death and his run back is awful. And his run back has a time limit. So you can't even just get there. It's not fun. Skeleton Lords. Well, they had bone wheels that weren't awful, so B. I didn't have a lot of high rankings for Dark Souls 2, but I hope this is fair. Stop being salty, you're a paladin. <laughs> Uh, it's, I'm not rating them based on losing to them. If I rated them based on losing to them, I don't think I would have put Pursuer in S tier if I, if I rated them based on losing to them. But that's Dark Souls 2 covered. Dark Souls 3 time. Gundir is S? Yes, he is. Where is he? Vort is C or B? Yeah, Vort's kind of around, Vort is kind of around this area. I would definitely put him like, uh, maybe B. Spear of the Church is A. I like being the Spear of the Church. <laughs> Uh, let's put Aldrich. He only gets B because I can turn off his magic. <laughs> Madir F. <laughs> Madir, okay, so the problem with Madir is all of his attacks are basically one shot, even at the health that you're at by the time you get to the second DLC. And he doesn't stop flying around the arena, and he has so much health. If those three problems were fixed, he would absolutely be a C or B boss. I like his design. 
I like that he's present throughout the entire Ring City. I like that you uh, bonk him off the bridge and he falls down into into the arena where you fight him. I like all of that. I just don't like how much health he has and that everything he does is like a two shot. Dragon Slayer Armor A. <laughs> Very fun. Nameless A. There. There's a couple bosses in A that might be an S if they were slightly better. Uh, Gundir just gets the S. Gundir gets the S tier. Gale is S. Nah. Gundir, when I felt Gundir, I was like, I'm fighting a Chad. When I was fighting Gale, I was like, this is a sad old man fight and I feel kind of bad. I'll put, I'll put Half-Light in S. <laughs> I'll put Dragon Slayer armor in S. No, uh, this is S tier is reserved for Gundir. <laughs> Frida F. Wait, she's not even on the list? What the heck? How did I miss her? Okay, so Frida is easily up here. Where's the wolf guy? The wolf guy goes in B, I think. Champion's Grave Tender. Yes, there he goes. I don't know how I missed those guys. Surely that's all of them. I have all the DLC 3 ones. Or the DLC 2 ones. Is that a fair tier list for Dark Souls 3? There's a lot more in C than I thought it would be. But they are bosses I just sort of enjoyed but weren't uh, super memorable. Wolnir would get a point for visuals if he had more of a spectacle leading up to him, maybe. Well, Sun Squires, that is all the tier lists I had prepared. I really enjoy doing this. I might do more. Do the Elden Ring one? Yeah, I will. I have to make it. I made these. I, like, handmade these. I was actually working on something else when I made that, and this is just kind of a side effect. Enjoy!